Hey guys and welcome back to Mzanzi Sobi Ketchup. If you're new here, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update. Wednesday 1 May, Lulu navigates the complexities of her relationship with the general and ends up surrendering herself to Mandla to prove something. Thursday 2 May, Tandiso's quest to reclaim Caesar's house intensifies, leading to her employing unconventional methods with the assistance of unexpected allies. Friday 3 May, Caesar tries to persuade Sibokazi that her marriage to Mteto was a sham but she is immovable. Monday 6 May, at Mamiki's insistence, Leroy refuses to give up fighting to bury Mteto where he belongs and he will fight Sipokazi until his last breath. Tuesday 7 May, Fanyana books a room when his online date finally responds and both he and Tiny arrive at the salon to prepare for their dates and later they get ready for a night of pleasure with each other. Wednesday 8 May, Jackson panics about Pakati being in town but Caesar insists they can handle the man and that notion goes out the window after Pakati gives a fiery first speech to the community. Thursday 9 May, Pakati questions Tiny this about Nteto and Dikeledi and she slips up when she talks about Dikeledi like she's dead while Pagati makes a secretive arrangement with Magolide Friday 10 May Lulu wrestles with feelings of purposelessness and seeks comfort in General's arms meanwhile Fanyana finally gives in to Lily's advances Monday 13 May Mteto's funeral gets underway and Tandiso finds herself trapped inside his casket with her cries for help drowned out by the cries of the mourners Tuesday 14 May the whole funeral party is shocked to find that Virginia has made a run for it after Tandiso points a finger at her and Virginia is later arrested by Pakati as she is trying to make her escape. Wednesday 15 May, Tiny is intimidated by Petunia and tries to have her removed from the hotel but her plan backfires when Martha welcomes Petunia back and asks that she be put on the cleaning roster. Thursday 16 May, Pakati examines the CCTV coverage and questions Jackson making him very nervous while Caesar suggests that he make nice with Pakati to lure him onto their side. Friday 17 May, Sakile advises Tiny against sabotaging Petunia while a fragile peace is established but then Tiny explodes when Petunia changes the roster without consulting her. Monday 20 May, grappling with Dekeledi's lost Tiny so seeks comfort from Sakile but gets his cold shoulder while Jackson and Caesar fail in their attempt to corrupt Pakati. Tuesday 21 May, General's romantic gesture to Lulu meets with hesitation with her mind clouded by doubts following a recent family intervention. Wednesday 22 May Dikeledi's death at the hands of Mteto leaves Caesar and Jackson troubled. Meanwhile, Pakati goes AWOL at work setting him up for attack from his new enemies. Thursday, 23 May, Tandiso has a nightmare that she's caught and wakes up in a cold sweat. Waman lies hurt and disappointed that Fanyana might not be his son. Friday, 24 May, the rift between Tiny and Petunia widens and Tiny takes a sudden interest in researching bed bugs. while Jackson and Caesar continue to discuss how to get rid of Pakati. Monday, 27 May, Mandla is angry and insecure about General and he confides in Sakile who encourages him to keep fighting. But Mandla says that if Fanyana is not his son, he will walk away from Lulu. Tuesday, 28 May, Mamiki confronts Pakati about his drinking after Leroy finds his hip flask. While Pakati pleads with Mamiki to keep his drinking a secret and General finds out that Fanyana is not his son. Wednesday, 29 May, Mlamuli is begrudgingly roped into Caesar and Jackson's plot against Pakati and he is discovered by Pakati. Pakati unwrapping his new phone from Jackson which almost blows his cover. Thursday 30 May, Pakati rescues Mamiki from Alostro and the two share a kiss. While Caesar brings up Pakati's past and sends the police chief on a drunken spiral. Friday 31 May, Tiny's attempt to assert dominance at the hotel meets a swift challenge from Martha who now has to steer the staff through a troubling bug crisis. As always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to know every time we post a new update.